Hello boys and girls, welcome to our children's time here at Kampala Baptist Church. Thank you for always tuning in, thank you for always being looking forward for every new lesson that we have for each one of you every week. Today, I am leading us in our time of study and learning about God's Word. My name is Teacher Gabit and I am excited to share this time with you. It is a great thing to praise the Lord and before we do anything, I invite you to join us and use your hands and let us praise the Lord together. One, two, three, waving. Waving our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Waving our hands, waving our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Waving our hands, let's go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Waving our hands, wave. Clapping our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Clapping our hands, everyone. Clapping our hands, we sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Clapping our hands, here we go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Clapping our hands, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Clapping our hands, we dance. Yeah. La 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 la. It is indeed such a beautiful thing to praise the Lord. Thank you for praising the Lord with us. Now, let us humble ourselves and we pray. Our hands together, our eyes closed, and our heads we bow. Dear Lord, we praise you for this time. Thank you for the opportunity to learn about you this day, this week. We pray that you tune our hearts to what you want us to hear and do as you want us to do. We thank you and we bless you for we pray this in the precious mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, children, guess what I am having in my hands? Somebody guess? Yes, it's a stick. I know we see sticks all around and this is something ordinary that everyone can see. Today I want to challenge us. We do something extraordinary with this stick. So, if you can try with me this challenge, welcome on board. Now, I am going to show you how we can turn uh, this stick and put it under our palms like this. It's quite a tricky one but you'll enjoy it now here we go if you have a stick or a pencil it can work i am going to ask us to put our i will put our stick here i will put our palms together and put it uh, on the palms and then we will hold it here and the challenge is to turn this stick to go below our palms like this so, of course, you're not just going to remove your hands and do this. You have to twist it around and make sure it goes down the palm. So, can we try it? So, uh, the stick on our palms or our hands, we press it here. So, let's try to turn. Alright? It's a bit tricky, right? It's not easy. I know it can even make us cross our hands, so quite a hard thing. But, let's try it this way. Alright, again, back to our stick. So let us try to lift our right thumb up. Now let us lift our left thumb up as well. Let the left thumb cross down the right thumb. You got it? Keep pressing the stick. And now we are going to turn around. Yes, we did it. Congratulations. Right. Uh, just like you see this stick, we, it was very hard for us to twist it and put it down our palms. But we used it to do something very extraordinary, very unique. And that 
is what we want to learn about today in our lesson. That God can use every boy and girl. God can use you and me to do something special for the glory of his name. Just like this stick, we may just look at it and say, it can do nothing. We can do nothing with it. Something, nothing special with it. But God can also use us just like this stick to do something extraordinary. So here we go. Join with us as we read and see from the Bible about a unique person who challenges us to live as God's children. This is Josiah. Hello! Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep! Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Yeah. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We promise you! Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. What a beautiful story we have heard and seen about King Josiah. He was such a young boy, but God used him to do something extraordinary. Just like that stick, you remember it? God used him to bring about his love back to the people of Judah and Israel. Now, for me, one of the, thing, the things that stand out for me in that story is Josiah, young as he was, he was a king, but he was able to follow what God desired him to do. And he never looked down and said, I am still young. There's nothing I can't do here. No, he was young, but God used him to help the people of Judah and the whole nation of Israel to think about the love of God and come back to worship God. And it's a beautiful thing that in the end of the story, people from Israel followed God's commands and they worshipped him because King Josiah was able to tell them not to worship other things, not to worship idols, but to tell them to worship God alone. It's such a beautiful story. Think about yourself. Imagine you are a king or a queen. How would you feel? Of course, you would 
feel great. You would feel important. You would feel loved. You would want to walk around people giving you praise. I can imagine King Josiah feeling the same way. But King Josiah remembered that I am a king, but the people I am leading are not following God. So he had to tell them to stop worshipping other things, but to worship God alone. So you don't have an excuse. Boys and girls, you don't have any excuse. Don't just sit down and say, no, I can't do anything. If you see something wrong, stand and do something about it. Just like King Josiah was able to say no to the worship of other gods and told people to turn back and worship God. Think about some of the things that God wants you to do wherever you stay or wherever you be. These days I see people throwing trash everywhere. Maybe as you think about that in the week or as you're at school or as you move around. Are you one of the people who keeps throwing down trash or rubbish everywhere? We need to be people who take care of the environment. So if you want to, create, to be a person of change and be a person who does something unique and extraordinary, when you have trash or you see trash around you, you pick it and put it where it is supposed to be and that is in the dustbin. So think about many things that we can do wherever God has put us to bring about something unique and special. God has called us to be people who bring about something special. And God can use you just like he used King Josiah. Our memory verse for this week is 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Let me do that one more time. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. May the Lord bless you and remember that God can use you to do something special. So do something special this week. Bye-bye.